It was my turn. I didn't say it wasn't. So why did you say it like I shouldn't have lied in? I didn't say it like anything, Chess. You just said to me, nice oh. lying, as though I stayed in bed too anyway, long. Anyway, Chess. Yeah, you can sort him out while I get dressed. All right, right. right Chess, you old lady in? Yeah. Hey, less of the old lady, thank you. What do you want? I've come to ask a favour. Any chance you could work today to do the 11 to 6? That's your shift. Taking Steph out for lunch, it's the only day she can make it. No, I can't. Chess is at the market and I've got Josie. Oh, I don't mind having him for you. I'm off today. Makes no odds to me. Yeah, we might as well cash in. Oh, well, you change your tune. It would really help me out. Yeah, right, whatever, I'll do it. You're a lifesaver. See you later, Chess. See you later. Bye, Ryan. Great, thanks for that. Just what I felt like doing today. Uh, in fairness, Katie, nobody feels like working. He needs changing, by the way. Go on. What else is new? Where's Casanova? Upstairs, making a start on his clothes drawer. Is he still upset about his van? No, Mother. He's seeing the funny side of things. I was only making conversation. Well, of course he's still upset. Are you sure this is a good idea? Why, aren't you? What's he got in here? Oh, I don't know. Video games or something. Is he bringing his Lego? Don't you start. How many boxes has he got? I don't know. He's got some more his mother's. You like girls? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just asking Stella if you are going to bring your Lego, but she didn't approve. Never got the hang of that stuff. It's never too late to learn. If you try to be funny, try harder. Babe, where can I put my toiletries? Uh, how about the bathroom? Believe me, I've tried. There's not much space. Tell me about it. There's hardly room for my dental floss amongst all their creams and shampoos. Uh, 80% of it's your stuff. Rubbish. What with Eva's hair and your skin? And your feet. Well, I've only got a can of deodorant and a toothbrush. Oh, stick it in one of my baskets. Well, have you got a razor and some shaving foam? It's electric. Oh. Hey. How are you going to manage without that van of yours? Well, I'm not, am I? I'm going to have to phone the council and tell them I can't start till I replaced it. Well, they'll understand, won't they? Well, I'll have to. No. Mother, will you stop it? Morning! Hiya. Hiya, kids. What are you doing? You're going to be late for school. Yeah, I know, but I'm driving, so we've got time. Guys, can you please get off this? How many times? No, listen, we just wanted to make sure that Mummy was wearing her new necklace, didn't we? Mummy is wearing her necklace, and she loves it. It's the best Mother's Day present she's ever had. Yes, success. Well, this is civil. Yeah, well, uh, we try and make an effort, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to, really. Yeah. Oh, well, Leanne, she can barely say hello to me. When she does, she makes it sound like I hate you, you adulterer. What's that adulterer? OK, and I think on that note, we should uh, get going. You're lucky. Yeah, I know. Just, um, oh, oh, slept funny. Paul already gone? Yeah, we're going to go for a drink after his rehearsal tonight, if you fancy it. He's going to bring Tony in. I'll be there. I'm working. Anybody would think you wanted to showcase an engagement ring. What? Oh! <laughs> oh! Almost forgotten it was there. <laughs> that is only 15 minutes now. She does take the longest showers in history, I'll give you that. Would you chop down another rainforest? Why? Showers aren't made out of wood. What are you in a rush for, anyway? It's the principal, Mum. Do you know, why don't you just stay in bed like a normal teenager? That's what I'd do if I didn't have to be in work till what time? Two. Oh, starting work at two o'clock in the afternoon, heaven. Morning. Morning, Gail. Hi, shower, Gail. Do you know, I don't know how you manage with that water pressure. Oh, I know. Somebody in Greater Manchester turns a tap on and our shower's reduced to a trickle. I miss my power shower. Oh, dear. They misses you, too. You all right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm just tired. It's not Chesney, is it? Fizz, can you just ring my phone? I can't find it. Uh, yeah. Have you seen how much I've got to do? I'm cooking, cleaning, ironing, doing the washing, looking after Joseph. Working while Ryan swans off on dates. Mm. Oh, it's there. That's life, isn't it? 
roommate, Sasha, she's in Tenerife. Four-star hotel, she bought three new bikinis. How can she afford that? She can't, her boyfriend treated her. Oh, well, he must have a bob or two. Yeah, he has, he's a welder. Oh, a welder, imagine that. Lying on a beach somewhere, a little stack of magazines to get through. Kids in the crash. I know. She texted Steph as well and said it's boiling. Katie, I don't think Jess could afford it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that. I'm just having a moan. I've been up since 5.49 this morning. i better get to work. Right. See you later. Yeah. Have a good day at work. Oh, some kittens here going begging. Oh, hello. RSPCA wants to get rid of some kittens. Sweet little things. It's hardly news, though, is it? With the whole page devoted to them, pictures and everything. We're not having a cat, if that's where this is going. Oh, I've always liked a pub cat. I think it gives it character. Right, ladies. Oh, what about you, Timothy? Do you like cats? It's Tim, love. No, they make me sneeze. He'll be through in a minute. Well, how about guinea pigs or rabbits, Timothy? Tim, uh, just pets in general, look. Oh, that's a shame. Mind you, I've never trusted guinea pigs. Anything with red eyes, forget it. <laughs> All right, Chief. Been better. Just been on the phone to the council. Tried to sound the score. We're not going to wait. We're going to give the contract to the next bloke. What, because of the van? Yeah. Looks like you've had a wasted journey. Look, I'll get you a pint in for your trouble, mate. Oh, great. I love traipsing halfway across town. Just for the fun of it. Hey, all right. Say, so I'm sorry. There'll be more work for you when I get myself sorted, I promise. No one. What do you want, mate? Oh, I'll have a lager top. You could move the rest of your stuff in. Well, you can't get me on with that, can you? No, I didn't mean that. He's virtually finished. He's only got his electric razor and his Lego to move in. Hey, I could play with that all day long instead, seeing as I've got nothing else to do. Jason's never really got the hang of it. A builder who can't fathom Lego. <laughs> Hardly gives you confidence, does it, <laughs> Timothy? Gloria, you made that too, but we are the top. How to no such thing, you mucky devil. <laughs> <laughs> Present for you. A Smith? To say thank you. Uh, I know it was short notice, I can see you on left. Oh, no, I love working here, especially when the grease gets in me air. You enjoy your date? How can I enjoy it when I know you're in a mood with me? She's here. <sighs> Hola! Wow, look at you. You've got a twin sister? No. It was a bit east, still. One will do. What's it like? You're early. Yeah, I got a lift. Uh, give me ten minutes to go upstairs, get changed. Yeah, I was going to say. Talk amongst yourselves, as long as it's about me. <sighs> Doesn't like confidence, does he? He loves himself. Can't say I blame him. Do you want to drink my way in? Is it free? No. So I said to her, well, look, uh, if you get any better, then here's a wheelbarrow, you do it. No. I mean, she was 70. Yeah, you... Hang on a minute, mate. Are you, you're from your holidays. I'm moving in, you know I am. Ah, landlord Jason Grimshaw, eh? Hey, how's business, lad? Yeah, full on. Yeah, it looks like it. You have a trial in your hand, do you? Uh, police any closer to find out who tore your motor? Might be. A uh, feral youth, no doubt. I'll ask around for you, mate. You're lucky I don't stick one on you. I wouldn't if I were you, mate. You might get hurt this time. <sighs> yeah. I'm not that daft, am I? Sasha text earlier. She is by the pool, drinking a mojito on her boyfriend's iPad. Lucky cow. It's like 300 degrees over there. Really? And she said there's chocolate fountain at the breakfast bar. No way. No way. I would not say no if Ryan wanted to take me away. You've all just met Steph. So, are you his new squeeze, then? Might be. Can I fizz the orange juice, please, love? A little tip for you. He really likes to have his toes tickled. How do you know? Because I've tickled them over and over again. Were you like his babysitter or something? <laughs> I used to work here. I seduced him for a laugh. I taught him everything he knows. See ya. See ya. It's Tracy Barlow. I'll repeat the question. Who was that? Ryan's ex. Oh, you are joking. Nope. Her? There's a few things you don't know about him. Are you going to tell me or am I just going to stand here guessing? Right, I'm only doing this because of me, mate. Tracy is Ryan's mum's boyfriend's ex-wife. Say that again more slowly. And she did a stretch for murder. <sighs> Whoa, she did what? I am not messing. Anything else or will that do for now? Well, uh, Ryan. He had a drug problem. Cokehead. 
He actually tried to burgle his mum's factory where she works to feed his habit. He has got a history, that's all I'm saying. And why haven't you told him this before? Well, I didn't want to interfere. Yeah, well, you should have. Mm, you should be careful. Ready? Let's go. See ya. See ya. Have fun. Sandwiches. Oh, I was just putting some soup on if you fancy. No, oh, no, I can't stop Big Gas keeping a mince pie on the stove for me. A mince pie at this time of year? A mince pie, aye. Oh, right. Did you remember your flask? Yeah, I'm a crisp, so I forgot with my sandwiches. Oh. oh, so is there a little Garth? No, just Big Garth. Oh, right. So why do they call him Big Garth? Because he's huge. Cheers. Chaz, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm in a rush. Just she seemed a bit down in the dumps this morning. Who did? Katie! Look, I've really got to go. I'm sure she's fine. Chaz, please, can I give you some advice? Well, you have to. Make her feel special once in a while. I'm working around the clock. I do my bit with Joseph. I probably do just as much as her, and I don't ask to feel special. She's a girl. We like to be adored. Uh, well, every time I try, she says she's too tired. Oh, no, I don't mean that. And it doesn't matter if you're working hard or if you do as much as her, which you probably don't, by the way. I can't bring in flowers home every day. I never said it was logical, did I, or fair? Take her out for a meal, chairs. I'll babysit. Or buy her a little present, I don't know, but do something. She works hard. She's tired. She needs reminding that you love her. Life is. <sighs> is that the kitchen roll or the loo roll? It's a uh, toilet roll. Kitchen rolls in the boot. Uh, tea bags. Tea bags in the um, passenger seat. Traffic. No, honey, you um, you relax. Ted, thank you for my necklace. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with me. The kids chose it, saved up all their pocket money. Yeah, well, then we paid them far too much. Mm, it was a special treat. Why would you do something like that for me? Because you're their mother. It's too much. Okay, um, look, I, I think I've still got the receipts. It's, um... I don't deserve it. No, well, fine, no, we'll take it back. Will that be unfair on the kids? Well, they'll be disappointed, that's for sure. It's the most valuable thing in the world to me. So keep it. Cherish it. I'll go get the tea bags. turns cooking you know draw up a rotor because i've got my recipe book written down off the telly and well let's face it this arrangement ain't gonna last forever is it so we might as well enjoy it while we can okay but I, I... how was work this morning because i'm having a dreadful day the way leanne speaks to me and nick says nothing just stands there catching flies Ooh, is that a kettle boiling i could murder a cooper Another thing. Did I tell you about my mother? He says, please do one more cake. I'm begging you. I'm like, come on, man. Your sound system's prehistoric. The dressing room's the size of a postage stamp, and you're only paying me 50 quid a night. Forget it. And that was it. I walked out, and he sold every ticket as well. I met Trace Spall earlier. Did you? Yeah. Came into the pop shop. You never told me about her. <laughs> Should I have? Why don't you split up? She was high maintenance and low rent before she had her own kid. Your mum's boyfriend's kid is this. Who have you been speaking to? <gasps> no one. Listen, let's go back to mine. Then we can chat properly, etc., etc. Close to ourselves. Yeah, I've got plans this afternoon. Well, I thought you were spending it with me. Yeah, well, my dad's ill. I've got a text from him with that. What's up with him? Don't know, but I should go see. <laughs> Come on. What's Katie said? Steph? Did you really rob your mum's factory? No. Well, well yes, but it, 
so you could back up. Well, I, I did the odd line of coke, okay? I don't, I don't do it anymore. Yeah, thanks for lunch. Don't go. That do? Oh, I don't want your money. Tracy Barlow was a mistake. So was everything else. I'm actually all right once you get to know me. You sound desperate. Well, give me a chance. Let's just forget it, yeah? <laughs> so, how was Mother's Day? It was lovely. Oh. Mm. See, they've got good taste. Do you know what my mum got? A bunch of flowers and a last-minute card. I'm sure it was still appreciated. Do you know what Rosie got her? Nothing. She said that a card was going to arrive Monday morning. Guess what? No card. <laughs> What's wrong? Ignore me. Sunita? So if I had a family, they were so good to me, and he still is, even after everything I've done. I walked away from my family. And for what? For, for change, for excitement? I left him for a complete and utter loser. Do you want him back? You won't have me back. Have you tried speaking to him? I mean, he must miss you. He probably hates me. He doesn't hate you. It's only doing it for the sake of the children. You never know. Sometimes you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Everyone knows that. I know, but, Sunita, you weren't exactly happy before all this, remember? You was bored. Yeah, I thought I was. I just got it all upside down. I bet your dad felt the same way. I made a huge mistake. I just didn't realise how expensive it would be. Don't tell him. No. Best leave him be. Deb deserves to find someone better. Been busy? Rammed. <laughs> Easy money sitting around reading comics. I shouldn't complain about you. It's not a comic. What's Steph? What did you say to her? What? When I went upstairs to get changed. I didn't say anything. Tracy come in and when she left, she asked about that. Really? Yeah. I, I'm not angry with you. In fact, I am a little bit, because I, I don't know what you want. If you fancy me, tell me. Otherwise, that room of fun. Why did you badmouth me? We need some more. Why did you badmouth me? Because I'm jealous. Hey, Jess. Good night, mate. Oh, uh, say, what was, uh, was all that about earlier? What, Owen and Carl? Yeah, it looked like they were giving you some grief. Yeah, well, it's easier when there's two a minute, eh? Well, that's what I thought. Well, why is he still here anyway? Carl? Yeah, I mean, why don't he do one? Well, why do you think, mate? He wants Stella back. He must be desperate. Yeah. No, I, I don't mean... I mean... Well, obviously he's got no chance, so what I'm saying is, is why is he bothering? Yeah, well, you know he's talked to me van as well. Well, you know that for a fact. He told you that. Well, no, but every time he denies it, he smiles at me. Yeah, well, that's not evidence, Jase. You know, smiling's not evidence. Yeah, it's not evidence, but it's proof. Proof? It, what, is there a difference? Well, I'm not really sure. Well, listen, just... All I'm saying is just be careful, because she's always had a blind spot when it comes to that idea, OK? I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I can't see as they were out of sight. Come on. No. I've got two tickets for Rhino Lounge tonight. What's that? What's that? It's it's a club. You really haven't lived, have you? Have you ever heard of that song, um, Too Much Too Young? No. That's you. Uh, married with a kid when you could be having fun. The specials. What a waste. Yeah, well, I'm happy. Yeah, of course you are. You looked at this morning in your dressing gown with baby fuel all down it. I shouldn't have kissed you. If 
I'd have known how you felt, I never would have taken her out. Really? Go home tonight and tell Chesney some of your mates to meet up in town. No, I can't. I'll wait outside here for you at 8 o'clock. And if you if you come and meet me, then I know that you want me just as much as, as I want you. And if not, I'll stay away for good. I know that you'd rather be with Chesney. Don't say that. 8 o'clock. It's, it's your call. If I could pick any girl in the world right now, I'd, I'd pick you.